that's a pretty decent one. Right Have we seen other outcrops of these here? Charles Mason, uh, professor at Moorhead State University. And with me I have a, a uh, I should say, former student now, Megan Ennis. Uh, she graduates today uh, from Moorhead State. And she's going to be attending the University of Tennessee uh, to continue her education. Uh, currently we're on Devon Island at uh, the uh, HMP, or Hot and Mars, project. Uh, uh, we're just out from the base camp, which you can see here on the map. Uh, Currently, we're right here uh, at this point on the map. Uh, we're about a kilometer or so away. Uh, what you see is a map that uh, Megan and I have been working on. Uh, it's a map to map the geology a little more in detail than the current maps that are available. Uh, they just do a broad brush overview and they're excellent, but uh, do some of the things we'd like to do in the future, we need a little more detail to determine if uh, there's been ejected blocks blown out and landed over here. And if we know the detailed geology, we'd recognize that this particular block is not in place and that sort of thing. So that's kind of why we're doing it. We're starting at the base camp and working out. We're kind of uh, doing it from scratch. It takes a this is a rough map that we have to, to go back and work with. Uh, we're out here checking some points now to make sure about things. We just finished working this point and we walked over here. Uh, besides doing the general geology, uh, one of the things we're looking for are specimens, uh, fossils and other things found in the region. Uh, you know, you can look like here by Megan, for example, is a uh, stromatoporoid uh, that we find is related to sponges. Uh, here is part of a chain coral, another stromatoporoid, stromatoporoid, stromatoporoid. Uh, on the point here, we can see a large uh, coral colony uh, right here. Uh, this is Syringophora. It's a uh, a uh, colonial coral and uh, we have large coral heads like that at this outcrop and other areas in the region and we're using them to help us to correlate uh, the rock from one area to another and the rock thicknesses, the rock lithology, uh, sedimentary structures like uh, bedding thicknesses, uh, uh, cross bedding, things of this sort. Uh, trace fossils, uh, whatever we can use to characterize the units, and then we're working out the succession of them. And uh, Megan has that here. If you want to pick it up, Megan, I'm sure. The uh, section we worked out for this general region. Megan's drawn up a rough section, and the colors, you know, this is some of the features. Of course, this is all in the rough. We have to work on it, straighten it out. And this project will be. Uh, to map a four or five kilometer area of this detail around the base camp, you know, would probably take a, uh, once we get the section worked out, which we've done a lot this season, uh, to map through the region, it'll take, uh, you know, probably several seasons of a you know, week or two at a time coming up here to, to do it. And uh, so it's an ongoing project. Uh, Besides uh, mapping, you know, like I said, I'm pointing out the fossils and things. We're also uh, finding fossils for, uh, we're planning to develop a little museum so when people come to visit HMP Base Camp, they can walk into the core of wherever they're going to put the cabinet and they can look and readily identify what they're seeing out in the field. Um, so we're going to put a good examples of fossils, like I'm taking some back to cut them in half and polish them so you can really see what they look like. And, better uh, the uh, and the third thing that we're doing is we're locating places like this where we can bring people out we're going to develop a field guidebook so people coming here can take ATVs and come out and go to the different stops and get a good cross-sectional view of uh, things like this would be an excellent stop one we picked to show fossils 
you know, we don't collect these. We leave them and for people to see in the outcrop, you know, they're sticking out all over here. This is a really good fossilifers point. Uh, there's other large coral heads around the corner here in the same locality. Uh, off to our west, uh, this outcrop to the west there, there's actually a hydrothermal uh, vent there and it's altered the rocks and they could you know that would be like this might be stop one uh that would be stop two and they could go over and see that and right next to the hydrothermal vent is uh, fault breccia where the rocks have moved and uh broken up the pieces and it's produced what we call a fault breccia and this is also the avenue which the hot water you know heated up and brought to the surface to alter the rock so that kind of thing. So we have right here in this vicinity two really excellent stops to see some very uh, important features that we find here at HMP.